So now that we've gotten a lot of practice doing these signal operations, we can go ahead and work an example of taking a signal x of t and decomposing it into even and odd components. So that's what we're going to do in this example. We're going to work with the signal x of t, and the signal x of t looks like this. So it's our rectangle followed by a ramp that then holds off to a steady value. So that's our signal x of t. And what we're asked to do in this problem is to sketch the even and odd components of the signal. So if you go back into the notes or go back to some previous uh, examples or videos, we have some nice equations for these different even and odd components. For the even components, we have the signal or equation that x e of t, so this e indicates the even components of the signal x of t, was this expression right here. So we said that we could find the even components by taking the original signal, adding it to a time-reversed signal, and then dividing by 2. So if I wanted to sketch the signal x e of t, I need to know what x of t looks like, which is pretty easy because it's sitting right here, it was given in the problem. I need to know what x of minus t looks like, the time-reversed version of it. I need to add those two signals together and then divide by 2. So let's go ahead and get the time-reversed version of the signal. That's pretty easy. We just flip it on the time axis. So this is indeed x of minus t. To figure out what x e of t looks like, we now need to take this signal, add it to this signal, and divide by 2. So that's what we're going to do now. So let's go ahead and sketch the axes. And the way I like to think about it is just start at the left point in time and work my way to the right. You'll notice that because this signal is the time-reversed version of this signal, it actually starts at time minus 2, and this signal doesn't have anything going on there. So initially, when we're adding these signals together, the only thing contributing at time minus 2 is this edge. So I take that edge plus 0, and then I have to divide by 2, but on the interval from minus 2 to minus 1, the only thing contributing is that rectangle right there. So that's why I'm going to end up with a rectangle of height 1 half here, and the half comes from the fact that I'm dividing by 2. Now let's think about what happens on the time interval from minus 1 to 0. I've got this kind of down ramp being added to a rectangle. So picture a rectangle with rectangle and then put a down ramp on top of it and then divide by 2. It's going to give me this piece right there. It's like I've taken this rectangle and boosted it up by 1 and then I divided everything by half. So it's just a down ramping rectangle. What happens on the time interval from 0 to 1? Very similar thing. On 0 to 1, I have a rectangle plus an up ramp. So I'm going to have an up ramp between 0 and 1. Don't forget the factor of 2 there. That's why it ramps up from 1 half all the way up to 1. And then finally, from time 1 to 2, there's nothing there. So that's 0 being added to this rectangle. That rectangle has height 1. After I add 0 to it, I still have 1. I divide by 2 and I get a height one-half rectangle on that time interval. So this is the signal x e of t. We're all done, and indeed it is an even signal. If we had ended up with a signal that wasn't even, then we would have known that we'd done something horribly wrong. All right, let's go ahead and do the same or similar thing for the odd component. If you go back in the notes, we had an equation for the odd components of a signal. We said that the odd components could be written as x of t minus the time-reversed version over 2. So we're going to do something very similar here. The difference is we're going to be taking this signal minus this signal and then divide them by 2. So let's go ahead and draw the time axes. And to start at negative time, we'll work our way to the right again. So I need to take x of t on the time interval minus 2 to minus 1 and subtract, which is 0, and then subtract off this and then divide by 2. So 0 minus 1 is a negative 1, a negative 1 over 2 is a negative 1 half. So I'm just going to have a minus 1 half on that time interval. What happens between minus 1 and 0? I have a rectangle minus this down ramp the divided by 2. So instead of decreasing due to the negative sign, it actually increases on that time interval. From time 0 to 1, I have an up ramp subtracting off 1. So I'm going to have this thing ramping up, but it's been shifted down by a constant, so it's ramping up. And then finally, between 1 and 2, I have a constant minus 0 is just the constant 1. So 1 minus 0 is 1, divided by 2 is 1 half, so it pops up to 1 half. So this is what I claim is the odd component of the signal x of t, and indeed it is an odd signal. 
whatever is over here, the negative version is over here, whatever's here, the negative version is over here. So it is indeed an odd signal. And that's just the kind of general strategy you follow for doing these types of problems. Give an x of t, sketch the time reversed version, and then piece by piece do the addition, subtraction, and don't forget about the scale factor on the denominator.